History could be made when they hand out the Heisman Trophy to America's best college football player. Past winners include, of course, Tim Tebow, Bo Jackson, Herschel Walker. And tonight, for the first time ever, the winner could be a freshman, a young man they call Johnny Football. And Johnny Shrippen is here <laughs> with his remarkable I'll take story. it, right? Thank a new you, nickname. Yeah. Why not, right? How's everyone doing? Good morning. What makes this story so amazing is that in the preseason, hardly anyone knew who Johnny Manziel was. That's because his team playing in the SEC, the toughest conference in the country, wasn't really expected to win many games. But he proved the doubters wrong, and tonight could make history. This is the moment when the country discovered Texas A&M quarterback Johnny Manziel. Four man Alabama. Watch this as he fumbles the ball, chased by 300 pounders. Gracious. Yep. How about that? And calmly throws a dart into the end zone, pulling off the improbable upset over defending national champions Alabama. It's just surreal. That's, I mean, that's the best way that I can describe it. All season, the 20 year old racked up touchdown after touchdown, making it look like something out of a video game. Now, he has a chance to become immortalized as the first freshman to ever win college football's biggest award, the Heisman Trophy. He had one of those experiences against Alabama that really catapulted him probably to the top. It's down to a three-man race with Manziel, Notre Dame's Manti Teo, and Kansas State's Colin Klein. For most of the season, the senior quarterback looked like he was the front runner. But after an unexpected loss to Baylor, that opened the door for Manziel and Teo to get back in the race. Colin Klein, who has been steady uh, all year long and has done a great job, had one pickup this year. It could go either way. As the only defensive player left, Teo is no stranger to adversity. This fall, in a span of six hours, his grandmother died and he lost his girlfriend to leukemia. The senior came back the next Saturday, intercepting two passes, leading the Fighting Irish to an undefeated season, making Notre Dame relevant again, playing for a national championship. Tonight, the voters will decide who deserves it more. At this point, experts say it's anyone's race. Now, just a few days ago, college football handed out the other individual awards. Best quarterback went to Manziel. Best player in the country actually went to Manti Teo. That could be a sign for tonight, so we'll see who's going to win the Heisman. I think they all deserve it. Can't they share it three-way? <laughs> not exactly <laughs> no, how, not it how it works. <laughs> all right. Worth a try. All right. Johnny Shriffin, actually, we should call him Johnny Basketball. He's got some good game. I've I seen know him play. he does. Except when I hurt my ankle. Oh, well, there you go. Fair <laughs> enough. Thanks, John. Appreciate it.